Hank Thompson and Curly Smart. Ready now for the second and perhaps the telltale heat of the 1966 Little Brown Jug. Through virtue of their first heat win, Romeo and Schulte will start this one at the rail. Another victory for them, and this jug is history. The Post Parade by head numbers, Niagara Bird and Clint Galbraith, Bonjour Hanover and Stan Dancer, Clay with Billy Houghton, The Big Bear with Wally McElmurray, Chris Time and Dick Buxton, Romeo Hanover and George Schulte, Mr. Lucifer with Joe Marsh Jr., Overcall and John Patterson, Meadowlenko and Del Miller, Silent Bird and Vernon Dancer, Good Time Boy with Jimmy Laurent, and Bank Time driven by Gene Regal. All 12 back in behind the gate for the second heat of the jug, and here they come. They're off and pacing. Silent Bird is first away. Chris Time on the outside. Romeo Hanover down along the rail. Clay is fourth, and Good Time Boy is fifth. And that is Chris Time going to the front by a length. Up on the outside, Clay racing up now to challenge as they go to the backstretch. It's Chris Time in front, but Clay is flying. Silent Bird is third, and Romeo Hanover now out of fourth and on the move. As Clay goes to the front, going to the quarter, Romeo Hanover going right with him. Into the quarter mile mark, Clay on the inside, Romeo Hanover on the outside, and they're at the quarter in 29 seconds flat. Romeo Hanover races up to take the lead. Clay is second, and now Niagara Bird is on the move on the outside. It's Romeo Hanover, half a length, as they come to the stretch for the first time. Niagara Bird is right up on the outside, challenging Romeo as they enter the stretch. And it's Niagara Bird, Romeo Hanover, and Bonjour Hanover coming on now. At the half-mile mark, Niagara Bird on the outside has a slight lead, and Romeo Hanover is second. And they're at the half in a blistering 58 and 4 fifth seconds. Niagara Bird and Romeo Hanover with Bonjour Hanover third and Clay fourth down along the inside. Good Time Boy is fifth. Racing in sixth is Silent Bird. Chris Time seventh. Metalenko eighth. Bank Time is ninth. Overcall tenth. Mr. Lucifer eleventh. And the Big Bear. It's Romeo Hanover with the lead. Niagara Bird on the outside. And Clay third along the rail. And here comes Bonjour Hanover. Three wide and flying as they go to the three quarters. They're at the three quarters in 129 and two. It's Romeo Hanover with the lead. Bonjour Hanover is second. And here comes Good Time Boy once again. It's Romeo Hanover by three lengths, turning for home. Bonjour Hanover second, but Good Time Boy is coming on at her. Into the stretch, Romeo Hanover by three. Good Time Boy up on the outside second, and Bonjour Hanover third. It's Romeo Hanover and Good Time Boy, and Romeo's drawing away. Romeo Hanover wins the little brown jug. Good Time Boy is second, Bonjour Hanover is third. And that mile in a blazing, 159 and three-fifths. Romeo Hanover's 10th mile of the year in less than two minutes, and with it, a straight heat victory in the 1966 Little Brown Jug. For George Schulte, who replaced Bill Meyer as Romeo's driver in mid-August, a first ever Jug Triumph. And the queen is waiting in the throne room. Bred by Hanover Shoe Farms and purchased as a yearling for $8,500 by Lucky Star Stables, Romeo Hanover has now run his two-year earnings to more than $360,000. Curly Smart, trainer Jerry Silverman, Morton Finder, and owners of the Lucky Star Stables have joined the happy scene, and Romeo himself would like a closer look at that handsome trophy, if you please. To the winner belongs the spoils. Winner now of the Kane Futurity and Little Brown Jug, Romeo Hanover will go on from here to win the 1966 Messenger Stakes and thus the Triple Crown of Pacing. Only Brett Hanover and Adios Butler have done it before. Forsooth, this present-day Romeo has provided the speediest translation of Shakespeare ever. <laughs> <laughs>